I have always used an Android smartphone. Even my daily driver is a Google Pixel 5. But most of my friends have an iPhone and they always bragged about how good an iPhone is. So when the 13 launched, I decided to give it a try. I've been using this product Red iPhone 13 for past two weeks. And in this video, I will share my thoughts about it and if I will switch to an iPhone permanently or will I just go back to my Pixel 5. So let's start from the outside. And I really liked this scared edge design. It looks amazing, but it's not the most comfortable phone to hold. I used it with the case, so that wasn't a big issue. On the front, we have Apple's Super Retina XDR display, which is just an OLED display with slightly higher resolution than 1080p. And it's a good screen, but it is only 60Hz, which is disappointing. And we still have that notch up here. It is about 20% smaller than ever before, but it is way behind any Android smartphone out there. Most of them have a punch hole nowadays. Moving back to the back, we have two big cameras here, one regular wide angle and one ultra wide. And they are placed diagonally instead of usual vertical line. But don't take it as a design change only. No, Apple has actually installed new and bigger cameras here and they are diagonal to fit them in properly. And let me tell you this, they are one of the best cameras you can get on any smartphone. Extremely impressive. In fact, the cameras are my favorite thing about this iPhone. It captures amazing photos, the sharpness is on point, the colors look amazing, there's enough detail in the shadows. Overall, the photos are very, very accurate. Other than being slightly warmer, which iPhones have always been known for. The main camera also have sensor shift optical image stabilization. Combining the sensor shift with a bigger sensor that actually captures 47% more light according to Apple has improved night photography significantly. The shots are captured slightly faster and they have more detail than ever before. Now enough about the camera, let's talk about the most important thing about a smartphone, the software ios 15 is very mature operating system now and it can do most of the stuff that was only available on the android side like widget and app library most of the time we are using the third party apps such as instagram snapchat twitter all those apps right and one thing that i noticed is that they are better on the ios side they're more refined you can say especially the camera quality of these apps i had the highest quality whatsapp video call while using the iphone it was way better than any other phone i have ever used and this is only possible because the app developers only need to optimize their apps for a very small number of iphones as compared to the stack of android smartphones out there but this does not make ios significantly better than android in fact ios still has the worst way of delivering notifications and i'm always missing a lot of them no matter how many or how important notifications you have once you unlock your iphone it just won't show any old notifications on the lock screen anymore it's one of the things i really don't like about the iphone alongside the face id now don't get me wrong the face id is very impressive technology but only when it works properly the strangest thing is that it just won't work in landscape mode and that's very annoying i just wish we had some sort of touch id as an alternate to the face id and you know what apple is clearly capable of doing that but it just won't which brings me to the very useful features that Apple is just not willing to bring to the iPhone for some reasons. USB Type-C and Touch ID both are already available on other Apple products such as iPad and the MacBooks. Even the lightning cable that comes in the box has USB Type-C on the other end. Another very good feature that is long overdue is high refresh rate display. Every Android smartphone, especially at this price point, have some sort of high refresh rate display. A 90Hz would have been cool if not 120Hz, but let's hope we will get it next year. Another amazing feature that I want Apple to add is always on display. They did add it to the Apple Watch, but I hope they will add that to the iPhone soon. Now let's appreciate the exclusive and amazing features we have, like using AirDrop for file transfer. It's very easy to use and very quick to use. I really like the continuity feature as well. And that's a feature that Android World could never offer to any of their users. Apple's ecosystem is definitely restrictive, but that's also what makes it so awesome. An Android user like me might find few things annoying about the iPhone 13, but for an existing Apple user, this is almost a perfect smartphone. Great build quality, check. Great battery life, check. Great cameras, check. Good display, check. Good software, check. 
all the five things that are actually important for any smartphone are all here now a few of you who are wondering if i will stick with the iphone or will i just go back to the pixel 5 well the answer is i will go back to the android world i'm actually very excited for the upcoming google pixel 6 especially the pro model which will be the biggest pixel upgrade ever and that will be the ultimate deciding factor for which os i will be choosing in the future so that's it for today guys thank you so much for sticking to the end a thumbs up would be awesome and for more videos like this please subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next one